very wealthy man. The owner of Leo's Barbecue spent about half of his life working to make a living, and he spent the other half giving what he'd made away to people in need. Recently, Smith passed away, and in this morning's Faces and Places, we look back on his life and those he touched. Here's Jennifer Eve. Okay. Hello there. How you doing, too? This way. This is the way most of us will remember Leo Smith. For 20 years, he served up some of Oklahoma's finest barbecue. So I had a recipe that my uncle gave me in Tulsa, and I thought the sauce was real nice, and he trained me real good to cook it right. And so I just uh, wanted to do it the way he trained me to do it. And so that's what come up with uh, cooking it slow. Every day we put our beef on, it'd have to cook for about 20 hours, 18, 20 hours. So. It comes out just right. Leo made a lot of things come out right, and he did it the old-fashioned way. He worked for it. He was raised in Grayson, Oklahoma, a young child in a big family who learned early that life didn't owe him anything. Well, the most painful part is when I was in school and when I couldn't do a lot of things that other kids had the opportunity to do, and I had to go do some work for someone, uh, some yard work for someone, uh, cut some weeds or something. And that's been where I couldn't uh, do the sports that other uh, kids could do, and uh, I didn't have the time to do it because I had to work to, to make a buck. Leo made some bucks, and then after years of hard work, instead nice of day. taking the money and taking it easy, he gave a lot of it away. Twice each year, he fed 2,000 people who couldn't afford a meal. And that was only part of Leo's gifts to others. He sponsored an annual golf tournament at Lincoln Park, and he used the proceeds to buy clubs, shoes, and bags for junior golfers who wouldn't be able to play otherwise. Stand kind of on it and hit it with a little easy tap, you know, just swing through easy, just right there. There you go, just a little easy tap. It was an equal opportunity project. Leo's junior golfers were all colors, all kinds, from all over. And every year, Leo cooked a big free barbecue dinner for the all-college golf tournament. <laughs> okay, my time. I'm hitting the wedge. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fish. If it's something else, just about going home on He earned their respect as a good cook and a good man. And he gave his own children perhaps the greatest gift of all, a strong work ethic. When we taped this story three years ago, his son Stacy summed up what lots of folks thought about Leo. His son Stacy is an assistant district attorney in Oklahoma County. My dad has, is a remarkable person. He's uh, gone through a period of time where uh, there were no opportunities available to uh, uh, black persons. There were no business opportunities available. There were no opportunities involving anything of uh, any sort. And he had the perseverance to raise myself and my brothers and my sisters and uh, do what he's done right now. And what he did was give his kids a chance at a good life through education. He gave the down and out a hot meal and some hope. And he gave lots of young kids the basic lessons of golf and life. Work hard, stand up straight, and always follow through. Nice man, he sure will be missed. Well, thanks for tuning in this morning, and make sure you join us next week for Vanish Point when we will have the candidates for lieutenant governor for a round table to This way. Hungry? Come on in, sit down, and try not to think about the calories. Is everything all right today? Great. Okay, good to have you here this evening. This is living, Leo style. It's hot, sweaty work. Leo's day often starts at sunrise, cooking the meat and making a cake that has a very loyal following. Well, this cake recipe here is when I was a little boy, uh, my mother used to make a banana strawberry cake, I mean a banana cake, and uh, I never had it before. And so Leo and his sister concocted the banana cake from scratch, and he added fresh strawberries. He sells about a dozen cakes a day. It sells real well. This is our, one of our main uh, items. Uh, everybody like it, and it's really kind of low calorie too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Between the ribs and the cake, Leo has carved out a good living for his family. Sixty, eighty, hundred. 
Thank you. Have a nice day. He's earned his money through years and years and years of backbreaking work. You would think he would take the money and take it easy. And yet people who know Leo Smith say he gives away much of what he's worked for. Through the years, the hard work paid off. He raised his family and did something he had always wanted to do. He became a professional drag boat racer, one of the only blacks on the circuit, racing at speeds over 175 miles an hour. He's earned the college golfer's respect as a good cook and a good man. Okay, one of you guys got to knock it in. And what he's done is give his children a chance at a good life through education. He's given the down and out a warm meal and some hope and given dozens of young kids some good lessons in golf and life. <laughs> Work hard, stand up straight, Thank you guys. and be sure to follow through. Appreciate it, Thanks. Appreciate it buddy.